What's up guys, my name is Bilal and in this tutorial we are going to make a GUI based window using the most popular GUI library which is built in to Python. And then on that window we will be doing all sorts of designing. So first of all since we are we will be using the Tkinter library to make this window so we need to import it first. So we can say from Tkinter import everything. And basically, this uh, module, the Kinter, is built into Python, so we do not need to install it separately. And now, in order to make a window, we need to call a built-in class, tk, which is actually built-in in this module, the Kinter. So first of all, I will make the instance of this built-in class, and I will name this instance as window. You can name it anything you want, and put it equal to a built-in class, tk. And now, using this reference window, I will set the dimension of this window. So, window, and then in order to set the dimension of the window, we need to call a built in method geometry. Geometry, and then as a string, we can say the window will be 300 pixels wide and 300 pixels in height. Next, we will set uh, the title of the window using the title method which is again built in to Tkinter. So window dot title and now it takes a string and now let's say that we will set the title to python music player and now one last method we need to call is window dot main loop and this method main loop is extremely important for a GUI based kinder window as it is responsible for all for all kinds of updations on the window it is actually an infinite loop and is waiting continuously for some kinds of events or some kind of change so that it can update the window immediately according to that change or event occurred so now basically First of all, we call this uh, built-in class Tkinter, Tk, uh, which is built into the, which is built into this module Tkinter, and then we set the dimension of that window using the geometry method, and then we set the title uh, of the window, and then we call this method main loop so that the window can wait for some kind of event to be occurred. So now we can run it. So see that. We have a window, and the title of this win and the title of the window is Python Music Player, and the window is 300 pixels wide and 300 pixels in height, and it is waiting for some kind of events to be occurred continuously. Now, in the next tutorial, we will place something on this window. So, at the end, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. What's up guys, my name is Bilal and in the previous tutorial we have a window and now in this tutorial we will put something on this window. Well, we will actually be placing a text and an image on this window. So for this we will have two labels. The first label will be for the text and the second label will be for an image. So first of all close it. Now, in order to create a label, we will use a built-in class label, which is actually built-in to this module, the Kinter that we have imported. So, first of all, I will create the instance of that label, and let's say that I named it as text label, and now put it equal to a built-in class label. And now, since I want this label to appear inside this window that we have created, so the first argument it takes is basically the window object. So just copy it and now I can paste it right here. Now this label will contain a text so I can use the property text and now I will put it equal to the text that I want to appear on this label. So let's say that it is this is a play 
button and now we need to pack uh, this label inside this window so for this I will type text label which is actually this reference and then we need to call a building method pack and again this pack is built in to this module decanter now I will have another label and this label will contain an image so first of all we in order to create an image we need to call the, the built-in class photo image so first of all I will create the instance of that class and let's say that I named it as photo and now I will put it equal to the built-in class photo image now the first argument it takes is basically where the where that image resides on your computer so I can say file which is basically the property and now in here I will specify the location where my image resides so my image resides inside my project folder so I will just simply type the name of that image but in your case if it resides somewhere else on your computer then you need to explicitly type that location right here but since mine resides inside my project location so I just need to pass the name of that image so I name that image as play2.png so png is basically the extension of this image now I will create a label and I will name that label as let's say photo label and put it equal to a built-in class label and now obviously window because I want this label to appear inside this window that we have created in the previous tutorial and now this label will basically contain an image the label that we have created right here basically contain a text and now this label will contain an image so I will use the property image and now this argument basically contains the information of this image so I will type image and now I will put it equal to this reference so image equal to photo and then I need to pack it uh, inside the window so I can type photo image photo not photo image it is photo label dot pack and now I can run it so run it so see that I have the text label which is this is the play button which is right here and then I have an image label which is right here now we can set the size of this image by using the height and width property so we can set the height and width right here so I can say height equal to let's say 100 pixels and width equal to 100 pixels and now when I run it now this photo is 100 pixels wide and 100 pixels in height well I can uh, use some other image like play.png and I don't need this thing right here now and now when I run it so now you can see that we have some other image right here and it is looking pretty good so now in the next tutorial we will put something else on this window to make it more cool and awesome so for now thank you for watching and i'll see you next time what's up guys my name is Bilal and in this video we will create a button and we will place an image on this button and when this button gets clicked it will print something out on the console screen so in order to make a button we use a built-in class button from this imported module decanter so we already have an image from the previous tutorial now we will create a button and we'll place this image on this button on that button so uh, let's create that button so i would name that uh, button as play button 
and put it equal to a built-in glass button and now the first ornament as usual is basically the window object because I want this button to appear inside the window and now this, and now since I want to uh, place an image on this button so I will type here image and put it equal to this thing so copy and paste and now I will say play button dot back and now when this button gets clicked it needs to print out something on the console screen so I will type here command equal to let's say print something now basically this is the name of the function that we haven't created yet but we will create it in a minute but this basically means when this button gets clicked basically this function gets invoked now we will create this function so just copy it and we will create it let's say right here so we can say def print something and it takes no argument and now we can say print hey I am being clicked so what basically I have done is that I have created a button I place that button inside that window and I places I placed an image on that button and then I said that when I clicked on this button this function will get invoked so now when I click on this button this function will get invoked and this function will print this thing on the console screen so now we can run it so run it so you can see that we have a button and now when I click on this button see that this thing where it is prints out on the console screen so this is what I need to teach you for this tutorial so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time hello guys my name is Bilal and in this tutorial we will actually be playing some music using our own music player don't you believe me I will show you right in this tutorial so the first thing that we need to do is to import the module known as Pygame because we will be using the module Pygame to play stop pause and do some other things with the music so basically we will be importing mixers from Pygame so we can type from Pygame import mixer now this module Pygame is not built into Python so you need to install it separately now if you are using PyCharm then you may be able to see a red line if it is not installed on your computer then just point your cursor in here and it will show you a red bulb just click on this bulb and it will show you different ways where you can get rid of this red line one way it will show you is to install this package just click on this option and it will install that module on your computer right in the exact location but if you are not using PyCharm then what you can do is that you can open your command line if you are on Windows and terminal if you are on Mac now you need to access your project location so my project is in C drive so I will type C and now my project is in users and then below and then the folder where I've kept all of my Python project is known as PyCharms projects and then the name of my project is Bilal and now inside your project there will be a folder known as fan and now inside this fan folder there will be another folder scripts Now hit enter and it will take you to the script folder now in here just simply type pip install and 
Pi game. Now when you hit enter, it will install that module on your computer. After maybe taking two or three minutes, if you have a good internet connection, but make sure that you have your internet connection before you install it. And once it is installed, you can then import it. So once you have imported it, now you can type mixer, which is actually this thing, and then you can type initialize. Now this means that we have initialized the mixers. Now start accepting the mixer commands, which is actually built in into it. Now that we have this button from the previous tutorial, now when I click on this button, it should play a music instead of printing out something on the console screen. So I can say when the user click on this button, invoke the method known as play music and now I will define this method uh, let's say right here so I can type def and then the name of the method which is play music you can name your method anything you want and then it takes no arguments and now in order to play music first of all we will load that music file that we want to play now in order to load it what we can do is that we can type mixer which is actually this thing that we have imported and now with this reference I will call the method music load so music dot load and now in a parameter we will specify the file name that we want to play so I have one song as burn dot and that song is basically burn dot mp3 so now that I have loaded this file, now I can play it using the building method music play, which is actually built in to this mixer. So I can type mixer dot music play. And now what this method does is that it start playing this music. So now I think I can run it so I have this button and then this button when it's get clicked it is invoking this method and now this method is invoking it's basically loading this file which is burn and then since its format is mp3 so dot mp3 and then we are actually playing this file so I hope I won't get any errors so now you can run it so see that we have a button and now when I click on this button it should play this song burn it is basically an illy calling song so now run it and we will listen it together for some time and it is giving an error no attribute music play all right so I think it is music play music underscore play now when I run it, now click on it, and again it's giving me an error, no such attribute, music play, I think it is music dot play, music dot play, and now when I run it, and now when I click on this button, you can see that it is playing a song, so now let's listen it for let's say a minute. Thank you. 
fun, fun, fun. So, all right, so that we have now listened to that music, but now notice that in order to close that song, we have to basically close the whole window. Now we will be creating one more button, which will actually stop that song whenever we want it. So first of all, we will create a button and when this button and when this button gets clicked, it will actually stop the stop the music. So first of all, I have the photo of one image. So I'm gonna have photo equal to photo image and then the name of this file uh, and then the name of the image is basically stop.png and now I'm going to create a button so it will be a stop button and put it equal to a pending class button and now window obviously and then I will be placing an image uh, on this button so image equal to basically I think I should name it something else like stop button stop photo and now stop photo and now I can type stop photo and now when I click on this button it should invoke a method stop music well we will make this uh, method in a minute but first of all let me pack it so stop button dot back and now let's make this method so just copy it and now we can type def stop music and it takes no argument and now in order to stop uh, the music we can type mixer dot music dot stop so i hope i can now run it but let me check it out first so i'm creating basically the photo image object and then i'm creating a button and i'm passing this thing in here and then this model is this been working this thing and now i'm packing it and then i have the main loop so now i can run it Is taking some time so now see that we have two button the first one is a play button which will actually play this song and then we have a stop button which will actually stop the song so now let's listen it for half a minute and then we will stop it using uh, this button so previously in order to stop the in order to stop the song we need to close the whole window now we will actually click on this button and it will stop the music so now let's play it first click on this button and you can see that the music is now stopped so this is how we can play a song and then we can stop it using uh, the module uh, pygame so this is what i want to teach you for this tutorial so now i'm listening for this song once again by saying thank you to you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time